All right, so let's look at inches and millimeters. Okay, so let's say I have a new document that's in inches. And we know the margin to be something. Uh, we'll just say 0 0.125. And you can link that together here. That way it changes all of them. And we know the product size. Maybe we know the sheet of paper as 8.5. That's not the product. That's just the sheet of paper that the product fits on. Now, what I want to do is just simply illustrate that, let's say you have a product that's in millimeters. Well, let's look at shapes for a second. Always relate it to something simple. If I have this shape, and I have a product that's the width of, let's say, in millimeters, um, 80 millimeters, by 30 millimeters, just simply know that by typing that in, you can see it. You, like, you can see it in inches. And that's nice, but what would be really nice is to be able to see it in millimeters, <laughs> right? All right, well, that started back here. Since you know your product's in millimeters, you should look at it this way. First start out in what you know. We know inches. And I'll show, I'll throw that, maybe a 0.25, link it together, that's my margins. And in the last video, you, you know how to get margins now. It's either, and you'll have your own number here. Next, you know the, the size of the papers in inches. Now, what's important to know is if you're dealing with millimeters as far as the product is concerned, these numbers don't change. But your product does all the time. You have to constantly check it to make sure it's the right size product. This one, you typed it in once, the product, you might type it in multiple times. So switch over to millimeters at this point and let all these numbers convert for you. Now when you're dealing with a product that's a millimeter known value, 80 by 30, there we go. And I know it's constantly there. It's, you can check it any time of the week. And you go like this, and let's say you have the shape and it has rounded corners. Well, some of the round, most of the rounded corners I deal with are in millimeters because millimeters is very accurate. I'm not saying SAE isn't accurate, but the rest of the world runs on millimeters. So it's only two countries in, in the world that run off inches. All right, so 2.88. There we go. So that's how you switch over to millimeters if your product is a millimeter value. And let's go on to the next video.